Hello friends and welcome again to yet another episode of iLogs. Today is a very interesting topic and it's called vision. So really, what do we understand is the function of the human eye? So what is the function of the human eye? We know, of course, one is to see, but the human eye also produces natural tears. We all talk about eagle's vision or eagle's sight. So let's understand the eye of the eagle. You'll be surprised that the eagle can see better than a human being almost four to seven times. The eagle can see a rabbit from three miles away. It can also see a fish in the lake from one mile away. The size of the eagle's eye is the same as the human being. Have you all wondered why does a bird look down towards the prey? It's because the bird's head can turn 270 degrees. The bird's eye does not have the same freedom as we human beings have to rotate our eyes. And that's the reason why the eagle has to look down with one eye towards the prey. The way the eyes of the eagle are placed in the skull of the eagle is in such a manner that it gives it more field of view. In our ophthalmic language, so what's the vision of an eagle? You'll be surprised, it's 20 by 4. So now the confusion is what is 20 by 20 or what is 6 by 6, what we call as normal human vision. Before we go into the depth of vision and understanding 2020 or 6 by 6, normally there are three terms used to describe the same. One is called visual acuity, two sometimes it's called eyesight, and the third term commonly used is vision. So what actually is visual acuity? It actually means the quantum of vision that you have. Eyesight and visual acuity is almost the same. If you look up the dictionary, eyesight is commonly described as ability to see, range of sight, view of sight, vision. So normally eyesight and visual acuity are almost the same. So let's understand what exactly is vision. So vision is beyond visual acuity. It means depth perception, it means color vision, and it means contrast in the quality of your vision. So vision is beyond visual acuity. So coming to the today's topic of what is normal vision. So we hear a lot of doctors and you'll hear this from your friends saying, that vision is normal and they would say my vision is six by six so basically it means six meters is the terminology used in six by six it's a numerical in distance if you hear the terminology 20 by 20 is the same thing in the united states what is followed is 20 by 20 it basically means 20 feet is the same thing that we are doing in India and calling it six meters. So when I say your vision is six by six, it means the first six, the numerator six, it actually means what the patient is able to see from that distance of six meters. And the denominator six is actually equivalent to what a normal person sees the same object at the same distance. So let's take an example and I say that your vision in the right eye is 6 by 12. 6 by 12. It means that the numerator 6 is what you are able to see at 6 meters. Comparatively, the same object a normal person will be able to see at 12 meters. So that's the actual comparison. So 6 by 12 is less sight compared to 6 by 6. On the contrary, let me tell you a simple example. I told you the eagle's vision was 20 by 4. So let's say it was 6 by 4. 
it means what that what the eagle is seeing at 6 meters a normal human being will be able to see at 4 meters so that's why i said eagle's vision is better than a human vision i just remembered and i read an article it was published in 2017 so have we found a similar quality of eyesight in human beings like the so called eagle's vision you'll be surprised there is a human being in africa who was having an eyesight of 6 by 4 and that was in published scientific data so he had supernatural vision now let us understand the snellens chart so i'm going to show you live now about what is the snellens chart so this is the snellens chart it was invented in 1862 by hermann snell now all the patients always ask me that this distance is actually not 20 feet or 6 meters in india as i mentioned it's called 6 by 6 vision so don't forget each chart is designed for the distance from the patient's eye to the distance to the snellens chart as mentioned in this chart this distance is 1.97 meters so you can see this as 1.97 meters so this chart is designed for this distance of examination i'm now going to describe the snellens chart to you as you can see here there are seven lines so this is 6 by 6 division and this is 6 by 6 vision the last line is 6 by 6 each letter reduces in size by a quarter so this size is a quarter smaller than this and this size is a quarter smaller than this now this chart has lot of options because it's electronic we can have multiple languages so there is tamil telugu malayalam kannada hindi punjabi bengali uh, spanish sinhali french and arabic so it doesn't stop by just numbers or english so this is the advantage of the modern electronic era we also have the log mark if a patient is not literate okay we don't really need to worry all i have to ask the patient that there is a c in what direction is this open and this way we have different sizes for illiterate patients now let's presume that we have a little baby for a checkup okay and then what are my options for babies there is a different chart you can see different figures okay and they can get smaller and that's how we determine the vision we also have an option of single letters sometimes patient tend to memorize the whole chart to avoid that we have single letters and this is how the size can be determined and that's how we determine the vision one more additional feature in this chart is that it can check contrast so that's one more additional feature of the modern chart additionally in olden times you know we get patients for merchant navy railways where color vision is very essential this chart in olden time we had a book it's called the ishiyara's chart and now this book has come into this electronic media and i can actually check color vision so if you can read this numbers as i can see them then you are doing well this is number 5 this is number 3 this is number 15 this is number 74 and this is number 6 so advantage of having this electronic medium is i can even check color vision here so this is called the color vision testing which is essential for our patients when the patient comes and we have to check vision what we need is this this is called a frame which is placed on the eye and when placed on the eye we can close one eye and check the other eye so we check the right eye and then we check the left eye and how do we block many times we get this question by patients how do we block so this is placed in this so actually the patient can see only with one eye and when we remove it and place it on the other side the patient the right eye gets blocked and can see only with the left eye there is one more test which is very essential for vision is to check pinhole so in this there is a small hole 
through which a patient can see. So when this gets covered, one eye of the patient is blocked. The other eye is got a pinhole and the patient can see through the pinhole. And this is how, this is called the trial frame. This fits on any size of the head, so you really don't need to worry. So this is the pediatric trial frame, it's smaller in size. And the beauty is this band. So this will go behind and the kids can't take it off. And that's essential when you're checking children.